as we look around we see a large variety of things with different shapes sizes and textures the air we breathe the food we eat stones clouds stars plants and animals even a tiny drop of water or a particle of sand every single thing is called matter at its most fundamental level life itself is composed of matter we can also observe that all these things occupy space and have mass thus matter is anything that occupies space and has mass atoms are the basic building block of matter an atom contains three subatomic particles protons neutrons and electrons electrons have a negative charge protons have a positive charge and neutrons have no electric charge at all neutrons and protons commonly called nucleons are bound together in the center of an atom called the nucleus surrounded by a cloud of negatively charged electrons the number of protons in the nucleus is defined as the atomic number of an element and it also defines to which chemical element the atom belongs to For example any atom that contains 29 protons is always copper Elements are unique forms of matter with specific chemical and physical properties An atom is the smallest particle of an element that holds all the properties of that particular element. For example, consider the element gold. Imagine cutting a gold nugget in half, then again one of the halves in half, and repeating this process until a piece of gold remained is so small that it could not be cut in half this minimally sized piece of gold is an atom an atom of gold if you divide it any further this atom would no longer be gold thus an atom is the smallest unit of matter that retains all the chemical properties of a given element every single atom of a given chemical element has the same number of protons in its nucleus this number of protons defines the atomic number of an element thus it also determines the position of that element in the periodic table An atom with one proton is an atom of hydrogen. An atom with two protons is a helium. With three protons it becomes lithium and so on the rest of the periodic table. Each time you add a proton you get a new element. There are 118 elements but only 98 of them occur naturally. The remaining elements are so unstable and require scientists to synthesize them in laboratories. 
the periodic table organizes all these elements russian chemist dmitri mendeleev designed the periodic table in 1869 In the periodic table the elements are organized and displayed according to their atomic number. And they are also arranged in rows and columns based on their shared chemical and physical properties. it is quite rare to find collections of individual atoms they are available in nature in a group of two or more atoms that are chemically combined an atom can enter into combinations with atoms of the same or different elements atoms that chemically react and bond to each other form molecules thus molecules are simply two or more atoms chemically bonded together only a few elements such as the gases helium neon and argon consist of a collection of individual atoms that move around independently other elements such as the gases hydrogen nitrogen oxygen and chlorine a composed of units that consist of a pair of atoms the atoms in a molecule move around as a unit like a single key ring having a bunch of keys in it An atom contains 3 subatomic particles protons neutrons and electrons The number of protons in the nucleus is defined as the atomic number of an element and it also defines to which chemical element the atom belongs to Each time you add a proton you get a new element There are 118 elements the periodic table organizes all these elements Two or more atoms of the same or different elements are combined together to form a particle called a molecule Atoms are the basic building block of matter Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass Mind Palace For more information on the same please visit our website themindpalace.in The link is provided in the description below